Happening now in Washington for the first day of President Donald Trump's impeachment trial begins with bitter debate over the rules. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff on the last minute changes and who's pushing for them. And Mr. Cipollone, your House side. managers and the White House legal team sat at opposing tables on the Senate floor as they began debate on the organizing resolution that will set the rules for President Donald Trump's impeachment trial. A partisan impeachment is like stealing an election. Witnesses will tell their stories in books and film the truth. Will come out. The resolution will now allow each side up to three days to present 24 hours of opening arguments after pushback from moderate Republicans. That will be followed by 16 hours of questioning by senators. Only then can they debate and vote on whether to have witnesses. The House investigation record will also now automatically be admitted into the evidence. This is the fair roadmap for our trial. The McConnell resolution will result in a rush trial with little evidence in the dark of night. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer will offer amendments requiring witnesses and documents at the outset of the trial, despite the majority leader's threat to table them. President Trump weighed in on impeachment while meeting with world leaders in Davos, Switzerland. That whole thing is a total hoax. So I'm sure it's going to work out fine. Opening arguments are expected to begin Wednesday afternoon. Senators will leave their electronics in this cabinet and sit silently during the marathon trial proceedings. House managers sent a letter to the White House requesting that lead defender Pat Cipollone recuse himself from the Senate trial because they say he is in fact a witness. The White House responded in a statement calling that letter, quote, a political stunt. Live in the control room, Dana Kozlov. CBS 2 News.